Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to the briefing on um, Saturday the 20th of August. So, um, this is sort of predicted chart for midday. We're in a westerly airflow as you can see. Uh, fronts are well to the north of us, but it's still a sort of moister air mass than yesterday. Um, so it's going to be definitely more cloud um, formation or building a cloud chance to spread out um, and mid-level moisture floating around today but should be quite a pleasant day certainly okay for cross-country flying the isobars are slightly tightly spaced compared to yesterday so sort of increase in the, the general wind speed i think at flying heights uh, but pressure is is fairly steady 1018 1019 about where it was yesterday the taps don't really show very much um farmers not awake yet at the weekends though the taff doesn't tend to appear till uh, a little bit later uh, but currently gatwick are giving 247 knots scattered at four and a half so yeah i think there's potential for cloud base eventually to go about four four and a half above sea level uh, certainly other sites like top meteo and sky sites suggesting the same um and the Gatwick and Heathrow TAFs also give you a slightly longer range forecast up to 24 hours and see that uh, there's rain forecast for tomorrow morning initially. So upper winds at flying heights. Um, yesterday it was sort of forecast in the middle of the country about 15. Now we're looking at maybe maybe 15 to a little bit more than that over us, but middle of the country, 20 knots, I think, at flying heights by the looks of it. Uh, more westerly across us 250 270 at flying heights 240 250 in the middle of the country uh, north of oxford up towards birmingham uh sat pick um shows a number of things there's quite a lot of cloud out to the west this contains some showers in here but they, they tend to fizzle out when they come off the welsh mountains um, but it is showing some some mid-level stuff coming through here. You can play the animation, you can see it. What tends to happen um, with this is it it just tends to, as it comes off the the mountains and, and across the rest of the UK, it dries itself out quite common. Um, and the rainfall radar also shows. Um, those showers, but they're just fizzling out once they come this way. So it's a lot drier air here by the time it's um, moved away across the country. So temperature wise today, um, I think maybe degree down on yesterday, um, got to about 23 degrees yesterday, I think 22 today. Uh, would be fair and um, dew points are a little bit higher um they're predicting bands in the sort of seven six and sevens yesterday i think they were, you know, 11s 12s uh, today is what we're looking at currently maybe a little bit less later on so there's a, there's a reasonable 10 12 degree temperature split between dew point and temperature uh, but the dew points are a little bit higher it does sort of lead me to think there's going to be a bit more cloud than there was yesterday. Soundings certainly slightly different from yesterday, in so much as the the lines are a little bit closer together. Uh, this this sort of indicates one o'clock ish, with sort of twenty one degrees. I would think we're looking at uh, by that time cloud base up uh, at about four thousand feet above sea level cloud tops um, six but if there is an inversion there it'll spread um, the cloud out in various places so I, th I think there's some levels of spread out other other sites are suggesting sort of 25 30 percent chance of spread out in places as the afternoon goes on these lines start to come out a little bit uh, and running into the evening they move out a little bit more I think the day is going to die a little bit earlier today. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not done by about five o'clock today. Um, looking further north, Bister Buckingham area, uh, 12 o'clock, 
not quite so good, a lot more depth of cloud, a lot more chance of spread out um, and lower cloud bases. But going into the afternoon later on, it gets better in that area. And again, um, I think there's chance of four and a half thousand feet later in the afternoon, uh, further to the north, but still a, an inversion up here and a risk of spread out. Top Meteo are suggesting certainly soarable by mid to late morning, 3,000 foot cloud base. And as we move through the afternoon till about two, three o'clock, um, 14, 1500 meters in the Lasham area, and then the same up, up north past Oxford into Cambridge at 14, 1500 meters, so 4,000 feet plus. And then you run that till four o'clock. It begins to sort of four or five o'clock all come apart by the looks of it. And I think that's probably about right. Um, by six o'clock, I think it's, it's done by the looks of it. And I think that's probably going to be uh, the strength of the wind, the direction of the wind, uh, chance of sea air will come in towards us later in the afternoon, um, sort of slightly earlier cut off. In terms of cloud amounts, and top metier are usually fairly good on the sort of what we call cloud distribution, their, their cloud amount predictions. That's sort of mid to late morning. And th this indicates, you can see a queue spread out um, over quite large areas uh, by lunchtime. And then as the afternoon goes on, it appears to break up a little bit more back to normal. I think things dry themselves out a little bit back to normal sort of cloud-based pictures, but by four or five o'clock, it's all starting to fizzle out. Um, so yeah, a bit of an early cutoff today. Sky site, actually, let's just have a quick look at the predicted distance for an 18 meter glider. between three and 400K if you if you get going mid to late morning in the area, up towards north of Oxfordshire, up towards Wales, um, and okay, into the West Country. I think it's a chance that you're gonna get quite a lot of um, air mass sea air can sort of conflict in, in here down through the Pusey Vale. So that's something to be aware of. Perhaps not to head in that direction south of south of the soldier playing danger area would be better or, or north up towards Oxford. Just check on sky site. So cloud base, they're sort of saying the same sort of thing around here um, by two, three o'clock, 1400 meters, slightly lower, further to the north. 1300 meters out in the Oxfordshire area and out towards Cambridgeshire. So heading up towards uh, 4,000 feet. Uh, they are giving a sort of element of over overdevelopment. That's sort of um, 15 to 20% chance of overdevelopment uh, in the south. Uh, for most of the day. So it's sort of giving a similar sort of picture to. Uh, um, the top meteo and their potential flight distance. Same sort of thing looks looks okay in into Wales, okay into the West Country, um, and probably into into East Anglia as well. So you've got a choice of directions. Okay, so not not bad day getting going. Um, I, th I think we'll be soarable by half ten, eleven o'clock. I'm not sure what time we'll be launching the grid. I suspect it'll be late morning when that goes. Um, Airspace-wise, actually, there's not really a great deal going on. Um, lots of circles on the map, but nothing of, of real relevance. We've got a no time for our competition, which is number 25. Um, number 23, they're just no timing winch launching at, at middle wallop uh, and 24 is boscombe down 
high intensity radio transmissions. 32 out here is the junior nationals at Kiewel. So they're active there. Um, looking further north, one or two things um, this way. Actually, I, I missed that. There's the Eastbourne Air Show down, right down here. Not that anybody's been going that way. And there's a sort of temporary danger area just down to the um, the south near near the lid area. So there's lots of lots of temporary danger areas floating about. Um, out further to the north, uh, there's, there's a few more relevant things. Husbos, they've got the uh, Women's World Championships there. Um, number 42, here just south of Husbos, there's parachuting at Wellingborough, um, 1445 to 1515. A bit awkward for them, they'll have to route around that. And the, uh, these ones are just, there's a fly past and you know, firework display later in the in the day. The other one is Old Warden. It is active all day um, with with sort of you know, flying display. Uh, the restricted airspace that's associated with it is not until 1845 tonight, which I shouldn't really be of any relevance to us in the gliding terms, but just be aware of that. There is activity taking place there. And apart from that, it is fairly quiet. Um, activity wise, I think next weekend tends to sort of increase a little bit as they go. The red arrows, uh, they were based at Odium yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if they're still still there. I don't, don't think they are. I think they've done their air displays down here. Um, so we've sort of seen the back of that one. Operationally, we'll be on 2-7, uh, aero towing from the grass north side. Uh, for club operations and the comp will be on the runway and I suspect I say the comp will be launching late morning get them going on a reasonable size task okay good so uh, hope everybody enjoys themselves and I'll see you out there